Hi, I'm Sandy, and welcome to another day in Life with Sandy. Well, good morning, and once again, morning. It's like eight o'clock mm. <clears throat> but we have birthdays today today is my son-in-law's birthday and we're going to sing to him first because he was born before the other person that i'm going to sing for because aaron is christy's husband here's a picture of aaron just as a refresher of course that's a picture of aaron um but anyway today is his 40 second birthday Ooh, 42 years old already it's getting old happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Aaron happy birthday to you cha 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 and it's also my grandson David's and that's where we're going now here's a picture of David today is David's 22nd birthday oh, to be 22 again oh my gosh I don't want to be 22 again knowing what I know now not knowing what I knew then I want to know what I know now kind of like a Benjamin Button but anyway happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear David happy birthday to you cha 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 and I forgot to blow them kisses so Aaron here's your kiss and David, here's your kiss. Both of them get kisses. But it's also, <coughs> oh my gosh, I sound like Peter Brady <coughs> and the Brady Bunch. But it's also um, my buddy Dexter's birthday. Dexter! I forget how old you are, Dexter. I know you're getting to be a teenager. You're probably 14 now. I'm trying to think. She said, I think she's. Oh my gosh, I should know. I should know this, Dexter. Let me fix you. You guys are all... Oh, they're building a house there, finally. Let me fix you here. Um, I, I forget how old Dexter is. I know she's got to be at least 13, but I think she's 14 or 15. Anyway, Dexter, enough of the rattling that. Yeah, Dexter is um, WV Running Don's daughter. And I've known Dexter for years and years and years and years. But Dexter... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dexter. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And you know what? As soon as I get over on my side of the road, I'm going to blow you some kisses too. I don't know what's up with my holder here. Oh. Okay, it seems to be working there, although I'm a little slanted. But that's the way it goes. And the guy behind me is like right on my butt. And this is a speed trap. And it's only 25 miles an hour, and so you can ride my butt the whole time. I don't really care, although it does look like it might be a police car. You know, one of those unmarked police cars, because they're out and about right now um, for distracted driving. Oh, what a beautiful dog. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got more birthdays to sing, but I don't want to look down because I think that is an unmarked police car. And we don't need to start the morning off with a ticket. So we'll just see from there. We'll wait till we get to the sign and then I'll nonchalantly glance down and get the next name on my list. Because I had to make a list because there's lots of birthdays today. But today is also Helen Brady's birthday. So Helen, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, whoever that is, he's right behind me still. But now we're in a school zone, so you know what? I did get pulled over here one time with uh, Alyssa. She was panicked. She thought they were going to take us to jail or something. She was like, oh my gosh, Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. I said, oh, Grandma. Grandma doesn't worry about that. Don't worry about that. So then they came over and just gave me a warning, which was good. Okay, he's turning. That's good. I, I know. 
distracted driving. This is talking about distracted driving. This is what I'm doing right now. But it's also Mary B's uh, birthday. So Mary B, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, this is definitely the police officer that pulled me over. Sitting in the little trap zone where he was sitting before when I got pulled over. I learned my lesson. You got to learn your lessons in life. You just really do. But we do also have anniversaries. Today is Jimmy and Jane. No, Jerry. Not Jimmy. Jerry and Jane Newman's anniversary. And it's 55 years. Well, you got me beat. Congratulations, Jerry and Jane. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great anniversary. Then we have one more anniversary. I got to look down to see the correct pronunciation of this name because it's, I don't know how many years it is because she didn't tell me. But it was Lori and Ralph. Retsma, R E I T S M A, Retsma. Lori and Ralph. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great anniversary. And everybody has a great birthday. Um, I'm going to tell David that. I'm just going to see if he wants to just do his birthday dinner next Thursday because uh, he's not going to feel like eating tonight. And I don't really think he wanted lasagna. I think he just picked it because that's what Aaron picked. So, Danny, let you in on a little secret because he's going to tell Aaron tonight. That's going to be his birthday gift to Aaron. But when uh, we were trying to decide what Danny wanted for his birthday dinner, he was saying, I don't know, I want a roast, but I want lasagna. I haven't had either in a long time, and you make really good both of them. And at the same time, Aaron had called me, and uh, um, so uh, Brooke had said, whispered to Danny, well, what, what is Aaron going to pick? Because maybe you'll get the, you can pick the same thing. Can I pick you there? Uh, I think I can. We'll see. Um, so he said... He says, if you pick roast and then Aaron will pick lasagna, you'll have to, you'll get to have both of your meals that you want. And so he says, you know, that's a good idea. So then Aaron says, well, what's Danny picking? And uh, I said, well, he said he wants roast. And he says, well, that sounds good. I think I, I think I'll have a, I'll have a lasagna. And I said, oh, okay, that sounds good too. So then Danny said, this way he got both of his birthday dinners. <laughs> Aaron picked his birthday dinner for him. And he picked his own birthday dinner for himself. I says, oh, yeah, that's true. So, anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then, um, so I'm going to see what David wants. Like I said, he only he only picked um, lasagna because he, he knew that I was making it for um, Aaron anyhow. So, I hope he got up. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Um, and then I have to pick up Alyssa from school and then go from there. I'm going to unlock the door. Hello. Here we go. Take two. You going to try this again? Yeah, this time for real. This time for real. Oh, yeah. We hope. I hope. <laughs> Such a great birthday present for David. Yeah. <laughs> but as he said, it was the best sleep he's had in a long time. I mean, years, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go back. I told him he looks like a vampire because he's got all that blood on his lips and everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're on our way. We're going to go to CVS first because we got to pick up a picture for the wall, for our family wall. And then we're going to go pick up Aaron's ice cream cake. Where's the wisdom, Jim? Not today. You haven't had any in a while. I know. I'm not very wise. I guess. <laughs> He's going to have to be putting his thinking cap on here. Exactly. Okay. Jim is eating green. Look at this. Jim's going to eat green. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, my gosh. I don't believe it. I had to get it on film. Look at her beautiful smile. Does it feel weird not having your braces on? Very, very weird. Is it good, though? No more rubber bands. 
And there they are. And the birthday boy didn't get here in time to get his chair. Oh, I can kick him out. No, well, yeah, it is your birthday too. And you are the elder. And there's Kathleen, whose birthday was Sunday, right? 23rd. Yes, yes. I remember, I remember when her birthday was, but she doesn't remember when her birthday was. How sad. Time's flying by. I can't believe like, Monday is May 1st. And there's the Kylie bot. Well, I'm glad you came in the back door because that front porch is dangerous. Yes, and someone fell off of it, but we won't name names. They already sh I shared the video. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. What? <laughs> Here we go. It's time to eat. Oh, look at it. They all they disappeared on me, Denise. <laughs> they don't want to be in camera. They're not ready for camera. We're not, I'm not ready for prime time. How come the birthday people aren't coming in? I don't think they heard you. <laughs> Slowly but surely, there's Mary. Here he is. Uh, they don't want to come in. Anyway, we're having lasagna and salad and garlic bread. There's Sophia. Here comes the lady thinking it's summertime with shorts on. Sebastian, and there's Mr. Gary over there. And we're just waiting for Jim. Are you coming in? Oh, you ready? Yeah. I know. I guess they're not hungry. We're just waiting for the birthday people. There they come. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I think you should get Sebastian's shirt on camera. It's pretty radical. What does this shirt say? Show, show everybody your cool, your <laughs> radical shirt. Slow jam. Sorry, there they go. Lasagna is my favorite. It's so well, bad. We're going to look at her family. Huh? She doesn't want to want to be in the picture with her husband. 42. Oh, smart. 32. I forgot to pre-light them. They were stuck together. Um, were you on the high school volleyball team, Alyssa? No. LOL. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aaron. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Hey, now we get to watch Kathleen try to light her candles. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the fun part. Where's your pendant? You want to make sure you got some bigger ones. Yeah, we can get it. Come into that. Oliver. Oliver. Stop ruining her. Get in the picture. Oh, yeah, okay. Get in the picture. Okay, ready? Yeah, we got to light the candles. She's got to get her picture first. Oh, she's she's, she's procrastinating. She's, she's waiting. Oh, that's going to be on YouTube. I think. Yeah. First, we got to see if she can light the match. Mary We're running out of video. Yeah. You know, oh, the light her. match is better than Mary. Oh, yeah, That's right. Like that. I'm real good at it. So you want a Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Kathleen. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hour. Oh, I didn't think everybody did it. <laughs> okay, and then. Where's David? Oh, there's David. We'll just sing to David. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. He's gonna his, he's gonna do his cake next week because he can't eat today. Bummer. Everybody all together. Aww. Aww. <laughs>
Just chillax and now. Watching the tails. Hmm? So we're just relaxing now. I'm about to leave, so thank you again, Sandy. The dinner, the dinner was delicious. Yeah, the way we got to see the birthday boys. There's the birthday boys. They look exhausted, don't they? Of course we do. We work today. Well, everybody left. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Sent lasagna home with everybody. The cake's all gone. I did have a slice of cake, though. I told you I wasn't going to have any, but I did have a small little slice of cake. Um, Christy had ordered an ice cream cake for um, Aaron for his birthday at Cold Stone. And she had paid for it yesterday when she ordered it. And it said it would be ready at 2 o'clock today. So I went to the Cold Stone to get the cake. And, you know, I told him Christy's last name is Mitchell. So I said, you know, cake for Mitchell says happy birthday, Aaron. So they go in the back and she comes back and she said, did you say Schwartz? I said, no, I said Mitchell. So they went back and looked again and they come back again and they go, did you say Kelly? And I said, no, I said Mitchell. She went in the back, she come back, she says, I'm sorry, you're, you're at the wrong Cold Stone. We don't have that order. They ordered it at the wrong place. It's not here. And I go, no, it was this store. And she says, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't this store. So I said, well, let me do, let me get to the email. So I bring up the email that shows that she paid for the cake. It has the address of the store that I'm in. And it says even that it's by Joanne Fabrics, which is where it's at. So she said, oh, she says, yeah, that's right. It, it was supposed to be here, but we don't have a cake for him. And so I said, oh, okay, let me call Christy. So I called Christy, and um, then she said, well, before you call her, what kind of cake was it? And I said, it was a yellow cake, yellow Oreo cake. And uh, so she says, well, we have yellow Oreo cakes in the freezer over there. And I said, well, let me call my daughter. So I called Christy, and she says, I guess, whatever. So then um, I said to the manager, I said, well, and the manager was very apologetic. She says, I'm really sorry. She says, but, you know, I said, well, these cakes have been in here a while, haven't they? And she said, yes, they really have. She says, they're, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. They've been in there a little bit. She says, but they're frozen, which is true. I mean, I understand that they're frozen. And uh, I said, so if I get this cake, can you write on it and say, happy birthday, Aaron? And she says, well, yeah, I can do that. And she says, you know, so what I, What else I'll do is I'll give you 50% off your next cake. And I go, you're assuming that I'm going to come back here and order another cake. I says, if anything, you should give me 50% off of this cake. And... Uh, but I said, but that's okay. I just, you know, she's already paid for it no matter what. She says, no, I'm going to refund her the cake. And I go, well, I don't have her credit card or anything like that. And she says, no, you brought up a good point. She says, and you've been very nice. You haven't attacked me <laughs> just because it was our mistake on our end. She says, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the cake for free. And then I'm going to give you the next cake that you order half off. And I'm going to refund the cake, obviously, now on for, off of her credit card. And I says, well, thank you. I said, I didn't expect a free cake. And uh, she says, no. She says, you know, some people would be, like, pretty nasty, but you were kind of nice about it. She says, and you're willing just to take a freezer cake. And you know what? I'll even write happy birthday Aaron on it, which I know is be no big deal for her to do that. So I says, I appreciate that. So Aaron got a free birthday cake and then 50% off the next cake, which is Sophia's birthday is in June, so they can get Sophia's cake 50% off. And you know what it was from? It was from being nice. It, don't attack. You got to know when to be nice and when to just go for the kill. And that was not a time to go for the kill because it wasn't like I couldn't come up with a cake. And it was just, I was nice. And so Aaron got a free birthday cake. I did feel bad for David. He said he still wanted to come over, but he couldn't eat or anything. He still has his teeth all packed. It. He, um, it, what, when he went in, he was only going to get one wisdom tooth pulled. And I said, you know, David, don't you have four to be taken out? And he said, yeah. He says, but I'll just come back on May 18th. David, you're going to be in there anyhow. They're going to knock you out. Why don't you just see if he can do them all today? And if he can do them all today, just get them out all the way, and then you'll be done with it. So he says, yeah, that's a good point. So then he went in, and the girl said, uh, you know, how old are you? And David said, 21. Oh, no, I'm 22. Today's my birthday. And she says, and you scheduled a, a wisdom teeth removal? And he says, no, my actual appointment was May 18th, but they're giving me so much pain and you fit me in with a cancellation appointment. I said, I thought it was yesterday, but you no, know, he said, I thought it was yesterday, but it was wrong. It was today, but I still would have taken the appointment because I'm in so much pain. And she says, well, let me talk to the doctor and see if he can take you, you know, he'll take all your 
your uh, teeth out today because she says, yeah, why come back if you don't have to? So it turned out that the, they took out the two on the right side and he had an impacted baby tooth. So they took the baby tooth out too. But then on this, this side, the bottom one is fine. He says it's not affecting anything. And the top one, David had a root canal done on the tooth that's just below it. And he says it looks like he's going to lose the tooth. So it'd be better off to keep the wisdom tooth because then it'll slide into that spot because it's not laying sideways. It's just in there the right way. So, but David, we had that done. We were done by 10 o'clock this morning. And uh, at 6 o'clock, he was still kind of bleeding a little bit. I think he was just chomping on it too much or something. But I said, David, just you should be fine by now. But he hasn't had to take any pain pills. And... Uh, but he can't, he said he can't eat. He's just, you know, he doesn't have any appetite to eat or anything. But it was funny because he said, Grandma, I think that they put marijuana in my medication because he says, I am so high right now. <laughs> it was just, he was so loopy from the medication because of the anesthetic they gave him. And uh, he was like blah, 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 rattling on. And he, and he even said, he even said, I am not this social. He said, they've, they've, they've given me some kind of a narcotic. <laughs> I said, well, of course they gave you a narcotic. They knocked you out and they gave you something for pain. He says, oh, he says, this is a good feeling. He says, I slept so well. I heard him when he woke up from his surgery because I was in the recovery room waiting for him to come into the recovery room because they were going to have me sit with him. And uh, I remember him when they were waking him up and he said, uh, how long before you start? <laughs> and they said, um, David, we're done. And he says, oh, really? And then he come in and he was like a chatterbox with everybody. And that's just not David. David's very shy, but it was kind of funny. So, but we had a good night. We had a good day. Everything went pretty well today. And then we're just going to do David's birthday dinner next week. We did sing to him, obviously, but, you know, can't not sing to him on his birthday. Jeez, oh, Pete. But that's going to do it for now. So um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.